shaking turkey bacon. It's your host with the toast, Doc Mom Bender, and this is Doc's Rants. Let's talk about the mall tonight. Small talk. Back when I was a young teen, I remember the mall was just a place to be. We had the game room. We had Record Town and FYP for those crate digging hip hop heads. This is what we grew up on. 97 was my first year in high school, I think. And uh, we used to take the train, we used to take taxis, we would take the bus to all different malls in Long Island, New York. Um, We would just walk around these malls with dope fits and dope kicks on, uh, try to get numbers from girls. You win some, you lose some. I, I got a lot of numbers, you know, thinking back, I got a lot of numbers. After a while, it became like a contest who could get the most numbers. But this was early high school days. The actual action niggas was getting was not even close to the amount of phone numbers we was getting. You know what I mean? It was like, I don't know if anybody has ever been a loan officer, but I remember being a loan officer trainee. And it was like comparing the number of leads and phone numbers you got to call. And sometimes you cold call these people with no real lead versus the amount of actual closing deals that you get. It didn't equal out. But I don't want to get too deep into the old school memories. I want to talk about the new mall experience. Um, I haven't really been out in the world too much, bro, during COVID. For real, for real. Uh, The mall here near DC that I go to was actually closed down for a while during the COVID-19 mania. But now Maryland done opened back up, lifted the mask mandate. So I'm in the mall looking at people. You know, genuinely happy to be allowed not to have a mask on. These people, you know. And I have mine on, but I ain't gonna lie. I tested the waters in a couple of stores. I walked in and talked to people and put it down and talked. And, you know, I've been in there to get things three or four times the last few days in the mall. And, but you can see it in these people's faces. Like, yay, pretty people can be pretty again. Yay. But you see the uncertainty. You see the uncertainty, them butterface girls. Everything look good, butterface. Been keeping their masks on too. You know what I'm saying? They were in competition during the Delta variant, you know? But now I'm looking at three friends, you know, with a mask maybe, and two friends with a mask. It was like a, almost like a quiet pandemonium to watch. You know, I had to get my daughter a gift for her birthday though. And I'd already got the other stuff two days ago, but now she's on her way here from New York. And I've procrastinated my way into having to drive to DC to the mall to get one more thing <clears throat> that she needed. Um, and I'm, I have to do all this in a two hour window. So I book it to the mall, you know what I'm saying? I get there. And as a man my age, the mall experience is just, it's just stressful, man. Usually because I'm there with my younger children and one wants to touch everything and the other one refused to just walk normal in stores. You know, it had nothing to do with me having to get the gift. Um, every time I go to the mall, though, I go to the same store to get the things I need. And um, it was hard for me to find it that day. So that was the first stress, you know, and I'm buying crystals. I'm buying sage, dragon's blood, everything to make sure that my environment is pure with no malicious or negative energy. In it, you know what I mean? And my daughter, she actually just happened to get into the same thing I'm into. You know what I'm saying? And holistic medicines and stuff like that. So, you know, I go to get the crystals. Then I go to 7-Eleven to get a coffee. Then I went to the Thai place and ordered some food right before I was gonna leave. So yeah, I go down the escalator. And and there is a way to avoid this, what I'm about to say, but I never think of it until it's too late. But I'm on the escalator and who do I see? Exactly who you don't wanna see when you're in a rush. The sneaker cleaning, slick talking salesman dudes. But it's too late. You know the dudes at the mall that be on some, yo homie, let me put you on, man. I see you got whatever shoes you got on. <laughs> I got a great deal for you. Only for today is the deal. You you know, you get this new sneaker cleaner product we got. It's, it's, it's going to blow your mind. Mind you, I already bought the whole deluxe kit from them like a month ago, which is I'm not even like halfway done with the bottle, which I use before I leave the house, and particularly on the day that I went to the mall. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, I told them, th- I, I told the nigga that. I told him that. Nigga did not care. We went back and forth for a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? I hate haggling back and forth, but they be young black dudes out here hustling legal, trying to make a living. So I understand that struggle. 
Of course, he talked me into buying a $25 small ass package of sneaker wipes. Rip off. It was a rip off, but I did it to support. Um, you know, after that, you know, I made my way to the exit and then I realized my phone ain't in none of my pockets. I'm searching around. Da, da, da. It was crazy. Now I got to go back to the sneaker guy. He let me use his phone to try to call my phone. I don't hear shit. I got to go back to 7-Eleven. I got to go back to the tire place. Back to the spirit crystal place to retrace my steps. You know, meanwhile, I'm waiting to get that call from my daughter to tell me they're getting close to D.C. You know, it was just a stressful mess, man. Luckily, you know, I get in my truck and my phone is wedged in the side of my seat. But, uh... Yeah, there's, there was no message to this story, actually. There's no message to this story. It's just the experiences I go through walking through a mall then versus walking through a mall nowadays. You know, I hate going to malls these days. Malls, bars, and clubs. Not really my scene. But hey, be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. Don't forget to hit up those comments and let me know how you really feel about this whole ordeal. Till next time, I'm Doc Mindbender.